Hey everybody, welcome back for another Unraid video. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to download and unpack to a RAM disk in SAB NZBD. If that sounds like something you're interested in, stick around and let's get started. Alright, so to get started, for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and start with a clean install of a basic SAB NZBD install here. I'm going to use the bin hex container. Right here, I'm in, this is the download path for the bin, he bin hex container. So let me go ahead and get that set real quick. I'm just going to change that to downloads and I'm just going to call that SAB NZBD for our purposes here. And I'm going to leave everything else the same, our container ports. What we need to do next is add a path. So let's do that real quick. Config types path. And I'm just going to call this host path 3. As for our container path, we're going to do backslash TMP. And the host path can be one of two things here. Now this is what we're gonna set up, this path is what we're gonna set up as our RAM disk. And if you've seen some of Space Invaders videos or my video on Unmanic, you'll know that for a RAM disk or a temporary transcode path, you can set this to either TMP, which will allocate to all of the available RAM on your server, or you can set this to dev shim and that will allocate that path to 50% of the available RAM on your server. Okay, so for my case, and what I would recommend is that we go with dev shim. So, slash dev slash shm. Uh, we can leave the access mode as read write, and the description, we can call that container path. slash TMP. Once you've got that in, you can hit add. And there it is right there. So now we're ready to pull this container down. And then we'll work on the internal settings next. Okay. Now let's go back to our Docker tab and open up binhex sab nzbd. Web UI. And we're brought to a quick start wizard. Now, if you already have SAB installed, you can skip through the video here for just a second. I'm going to run through this just in case there's anybody who's setting up this up for the first time. We're going to do English there, enter your server credentials, and move on to the next screen. And now that our setup is complete, we can go to SAB and ZBD. Now if you see this screen, don't worry, all you have to do is close the window and then right click on your SAB icon on your Unraid Docker tab, hit Web UI, and there's our screen. So now on the upper right, we're going to click the little gear icon that says SAB config. Open that up and go to folders. And here is where the magic happens. Now on the left side, you'll see where it says note folders will be created automatically when saving. You may use absolute paths to save outside of the default folders. Our default folder here is slash config. And if you remember earlier, that's our app data path folder. So we're going to change that. Our temporary download folder that we mapped earlier in the container is going to be slash TMP and we have TMP mapped to Deb Shim on the Unraid side and our completed download folder we're going to change downloads to data now if you want to set up your watch folder or your script folder now's a good time to do that I'm not gonna go into all that here 
But basically all I'm trying to show you here is that by mapping our temporary download folder to TMP, we will now be using our RAM instead of a disk on the server. So let's save those changes. Now one last thing to do is at the top we're going to click switches. And scroll down and look for direct unpack. Make sure we have that checked. And hit save changes. And go back to our main SAB page. And if you look here, now you can see the free space in our temporary folder. It's showing 9.7 gigs of free space. Now where that comes from is I've got 32 gigs of available RAM. So 50% of that is 16 gigs. And I've currently got some other processes running that are using up a little bit of RAM. So I'm left with 9.7 gigs of available space. Now it's important, important to remember here that I won't be able to download anything larger than 9.7 gigs. Now real quick, I wanted to switch over to my main SAB instance where I've got a much larger RAM disk. And here you can see right now I've got about 90 gigs of available free space, which translates to RAM. Now if I go ahead and run this download, I'll let that queue up and you'll begin to see that free space folder, the temporary folder, start shrinking as this number increases. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and make you watch the whole thing, but I'll show you a quick couple snapshots of what that looks like. So now I'm about 40% of the way through. You can see that my temporary folder is down to about 68 gigs of free space. I'm 23 and a half gigs in roughly. Now if I switch back over here to my dashboard and I take a look at my memory, I can see that it was at 21. I can hit the refresh page real quick and it's up to 22. So I'll be able to see my RAM filling up here as that space becomes occupied with the downloads from SAB. So let's switch back over. Now if you watch as I stop and delete this download, removing job, and keep an eye on this temporary space right here, you'll see that it starts to free back up here momentarily. And it's back up to 89.6 already. So that's gonna do it for this video. Just a reminder, if you're low on RAM, this method may not be for you. But if you've got no cache disk, this is a great way to speed things up over a direct download to your array. Or if you have plenty of RAM to spare, this is a good way to save wear and tear on your cache disks as well as increasing your unpacking and processing times. Hope you guys liked the video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, have a great day.